I want to talk with you today about the most revolutionary verse in the whole Bible, and maybe the most neglected. But to understand it, let me tell you about three incidents. One is something I saw a picture of in a memorabilia shop a while back. It's from a baseball game in 1965, where a batter turned and clubbed the catcher over the head with his bat. He felt he was threatened as the catcher threw a ball back too close to his ear, and he turned and bad battered the catcher with his bat. Could have killed him. Second incident, you might remember it. A couple years ago in the Academy Awards, a person walked up on stage and slapped a presenter. He felt he had insulted his wife. Third incident, one of my sons, when very young and in school, was stabbed by a classmate. Why do things like that happen? What are people forgetting? Luke chapter 6 and verse 31, and whatever you would want people to do to you, so you should do to them. A revolutionary verse. What if CEOs operated that way? What they would want done to them, that's how they treat their workers. What if husbands and wives operated that way? You treat your husband or wife the way you'd always want to be treated. What if everyone in the churches operated that way? It would be a very different world. We'd ask questions like, what's good for the person? What's good for not just the person in a paternalistic sense, but what would the person really enjoy? The CEO would say, I'd want to raise, maybe they want to raise. The person who is a husband or wife would say something like, well, I'd like them to bring something special home for me. Maybe I'll bring something special home for them today. In the church would say, maybe there's a special act of kindness or I'll go out of my way for a greeting for the person. It's been called the golden rule and it's found in the Gospel of Matthew also. There's a Jewish form of it found in an apocryphal book called Tobit, which is the negative form. What's hateful to you, don't do to others. But Jesus makes it more expansive and more demanding. Treat others the way you would want to be treated. That, I think, will create a different world. Certainly, a different world in which you and I live. Do to others as you would have them to do to you. This is your daily devotional for Saturday, uh, April 29th. The weather is warming up. It's a beautiful time of year, and our spirits are warm also with the presence of the Lord. I look forward to seeing you in church tomorrow. Pray for the church. Pray for me. Read your Bible every day. Seek first the kingdom of God. Remember the two questions I said to always ask, what's God doing? And what does God want me to do? Pray for your friends and neighbors and seek to bring them into the kingdom of our glorious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you as you serve him.